Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, me to Rowan Curtis, World season two of Firefly Lane on Netflix. Volume um, part one is dropping December 2nd. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. Two seasons now of playing Kate. When do you start kind of officially understanding this character? Is it kind of like when you start shooting it? Is it just this season? Like, I'm just curious about that. Oh man, I feel like actually that's, it's funny that you say that. I remember like about an episode in, I like, well, I mean, I think I had, a, I think I had a pretty good idea from the beginning of who Kate was and I felt her very much in me because I think, like I've said before, I think that, um, uh, myself at that age is very much like Kate at that age. No. Um, and so, and so a little part of that always lives in you, I think, but, um, but I, I think that about an episode in all of a sudden I felt this change in me and I was like, Oh, I feel like I put on these glasses and I put on these clothes and I've become Kate. And it's so funny because I think, you know, I, I relate to her a lot personally from that time in my life but I would say now a little bit less so and so I was I was kind of nervous at the beginning where I was like am I going to be able to like do this convincingly and I'm quite a bit older and all this stuff and um and it's funny yeah I feel like that transformation is complete as soon as you as soon as you put on the just those giant glasses <laughs> those glasses are pretty awesome did you oh, kind of when, like after you worked on that show was there kind of this like I wouldn't say like obsession but like were you interested in like glasses and we went to the mall or something like girl I'm just oh, <laughs> it actually it 100% did inform my personal glasses choices for that year um I got these like this actually the biggest pair of glasses I've ever bought myself and um and I got this awesome 70s kind of like amber tint in them I like yeah. 100% and I get I get tons of eyewear enthusiasts reaching out to me being like what are they Oh, there um, was, was so like, I remember that. Oh, so like incredible. all the memes and like the gifts, like Kate's glasses. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely yeah. saw that. It's season five. Oh, hilarious. No, I, I picked them. I picked them. I was given this huge tray of glasses and I saw them and I was immediately like, those are the ones. Like those are the ones I envisioned in the book. And of course we ran them up the line and everyone loved them. So it worked out really well. But yeah. A lot of TV and film, Rowan, are using flashbacks. I feel like Firefly mm -hmm. Lane arguably uses it one of the coolest ways where it's this kind of constant back and forth in between mm -hmm. kind of like Kate and Tully and younger Kate and Tully. Was that something, we're going back to season one, was that something that really kind of drew towards the project, how unique it was, where it was like really back and forth, like consistently with the flashback, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, I love that format of storytelling. I think that it informs a lot about a character. I think you get to know a character a lot better by seeing where they come from and, and why. And I think that our show does a really excellent job of, um, of utilizing that storytelling um, like tool. Yep. Um, because I think that often it follows a theme and like, and what's happening in the seventies impacts what's happening in the eighties impacts what's happening in the two thousands. And I think, yeah, I think it's a really beautiful, um, way to tell a story because I think it does give you this really well-rounded uh, I like understanding of, yeah. of where someone has been and and who they are now absolutely you're also mm -hmm. on a show that you know takes place in decades that has like some of the best music ever like that's like the best part of oh. I know right <laughs> oh the best no I mean yeah Allie and I that was the first thing we did we we got together and we made like season one we got together and we made this big playlist that we actually still add to to this okay, day okay. how big how many songs are like, on this playlist oh god probably now in the hundreds um it's it's huge it's like but it's because we just keep we kept finding music that like brought us to that time and we'd listen to it almost every day and we'd have like these giant dance parties in our trailer and like uh, yeah, yeah. it's the best but the music is so transportive I'm such a big playlist person and I have like, mm -hmm. I listen to all kinds of different music and like I have yeah. different playlists, but I'm like that type of person. Like I'll watch a show and I'll be like, this song's so good. I've got to pause oh. it to add this to my playlist. <laughs> no, totally. And oh my God. And the music on our show, like we have just gotten so lucky. It's like the, it's, it's pretty incredible. Like if you just took every single song that was on the show and you compiled it into a playlist, that would be a, like a, 
an incredible playlist. What do you, when you do interviews or when you're talking to like Ali and like Catherine and Sarah, mm -hmm. do you refer to yourselves as like young Kate and young Tully? Is that what it's, what, what you say? Or like past Sarah young? Like, I'm just saying. And Sarah and I kind of have this ongoing joke about it where we're always like, if it's, it feels weird to say young Kate. Because you both play Kate, like, right? Because, like, <laughs> well, and also the other thing is, is that it's like, is that it's like, then the implication is that the other character is not young. And we're like, no, 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 you're young. We're yeah, all young. That's, and so, okay, you understand so where you're coming to, from. Yeah. We started to joke that, um, that I was like still in diapers, Kate. And she was like, young Kate or that I was like that I was like in the womb Kate and she was like baby Kate okay. it was like just varying degrees of young everyone's young so whatever <laughs> we're gonna call it so like, we say like 70s Kate I don't know like what, 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 what? Oh, you can you can say young Kate no 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 it's so, totally cool <laughs> so young Kate and young Tully yeah I really find and you see it this season as well there's 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 moments of them where they're like lost, but they don't think they're lost. You know what I mean by that a little <laughs> bit? And I yeah, think, is totally. that fun to play characters like that? That's like they're lost, but they don't know necessarily that they're lost. I think that's being a teenager. Yeah. Like I think that it is so hallmark of being a teenager that like you think you know what you're doing and <laughs> you're just completely flying blind. Um, and so I think it, it is so fun because yeah, like I'm in my my mid twenties now. And, um, and I look back at myself in times where I was so certain and I was like going ahead. Like I knew exactly what I was doing and I made stupid decisions and mistakes and, 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 but the entire time was so, um, it was so strong in my convictions that I like knew what was going on. And in retrospect, it's so funny to think about that because yeah. I'm like, Oh my God, you had no idea. Your frontal cortex was not developed yet. Um, and so, and so, yeah, it's so fun to play with that idea of like feeling invincible that comes with being that young. And, um, and I also think that there's something to be said about the seventies too, yeah. where like teenagers had a lot more freedom. Like you, you like, you know, I feel like your parents would would send you off into the world and you just come home when the when the streetlights turned on, you know? Yeah. And so I think that there's a component of that too, where it's like that teenage kind of strong headedness and and fearlessness, and then combined with that freedom that comes with a totally different time. That was very well said. No, that was <laughs> I Thanks. That was like a 10 on 10 answer. Absolutely. No. Thank I, you, thank you. <laughs> well, no, because they're kind of like they're kind of like deep philosophical kind of questions. Right. And like, sometimes like I'll ask those and people are like, Oh, like, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Or like, I guess so. And maybe and yeah. it was like, you knew what I was going to ask. That was very well done. Thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's just go back and talk about the glasses. Um, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can go on about them forever. Don't worry. Um, in terms of, I don't want to go into big spoilers, but season yeah. one had some kind of tension and conflict between characters. You see it a little bit between Kate and Tully, even mm -hmm. though they're best friends, there's always going to be that. You know what I mean? What can you tell okay. us specifically about the tension and like conflict between characters we're going to see this season and season two specifically? Um, I think that a lot of what we see kind of flushing out is like, a little bit less of that newlywed phase between mm -hmm. Tully and Kate. You know, their friendship is a little bit, is a little bit more um, fully formed, I mm -hmm. think. It's like, you know, it's been over a year now that they've been friends. Um, and so I think that there's those things that crop up after you kind of, like once you really get to know somebody, like those things where you're like, oh my God, like that thing you always do. Um, and so <laughs> I think you see some of that for sure this season. And then the other thing I would say is that I think that our world in the seventies gets a lot more kind of like, um, you get to see a lot more of our world. Like you see a lot more of us in school and the people we hang out with and, and those relationships and how those relationships impact Kate and Kelly's relationships, like other friendships and boys and all that kind of stuff. And, and how that comes into play and yeah. how that causes, um, friction at times with the two of them, as well as, um, fosters even more closeness between the two of them. But I think it's really cool because I think our world becomes far more, um, like, yeah, you just you you get to bear witness to way more of like what goes on it's in a, Kate and Kelly's world. It's interesting you mentioned that because mm -hmm. it's something that I've noticed in season two specifically, where mm -hmm. 
you know how it is. You know, we grew up watching so many shows where you like watch a show every week and it's like, wow, yeah. this character really grew after like three episodes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like you watch episodes and you're like, wow, like young Kate has really grown in the last like 10 minutes in the scene. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, from start to, from like, I mean, yeah, I feel like from the start of season two, part one to the end, you definitely see Kate coming into herself more. I, I love that Kate is getting more feisty with time and like, you can see where she turns into who Sarah's character is for sure. Um, and I also think that there's like, and then yeah, between part one, like the beginning of part one and the end of season two, part two, like how much growth is in there too. And I think it's really, I think it's really incredible to get to play a character like through those really formative years and across time. They're they're part yeah, you you definitely do a lot of soul. I feel like it's it's one of those like your teens and your or like your early like your early 20s are like two times mm -hmm. where you're like figuring things out. If you didn't figure yeah. them out during your like your teens, you maybe will figure them out a little later, but I feel like there's definitely yeah. like layers there absolutely. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I feel like every year in like your teen years counts for so much, you know, like you experience so much. Like I even feel like that now in my twenties, it's like every year I look back and I'm like, who's that? Like, and so I think that, and I think even more so, and it's like dog years, you know, it's like one teenage year is like seven adult years. And so, yeah, I think that, I think that you really get a sense of that in our show. Hopefully I, I, I think that I mean, I feel like today it's starting to kind of hit you a little bit because you're doing press, but like, is it yeah. starting to hit you that like it's come, like season two is going to be like part one is going to be out pretty soon? Yeah, it's so funny. I feel like it's one of those things where like in the time between when you wrap and then when you start to do press and everything starts to kind of come out, it's almost like you forget that it ever happened. It's like, it feels like a fever dream. Yeah. Because, because maybe you'll do ADR or something like that. You like, you have little bits to do with it. But after that, it's really in the hands of editors and, and, um, and, you know, everyone kind of like behind the scenes and post-production. So, um, so it's really interesting because then it, it kind of, of course I think about it all the time because it's one of my favorite projects I've ever, ever done. And Kate is like such a huge part of me now, I think, but, but it's so funny. It feels so surreal to be like, Oh wow, people are going to see it now. And I felt this way the first season in an even bigger way because, because the show was completely new, but I think that, yeah, it's like, it's so exciting to know that people are going to, I mean, finally get to see what we all work so hard on. And for a really long time too, because we shot part one and two back to back. Absolutely. Ron, thank you for joining me on Pop Turtle. It was so great chatting with you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I really appreciate you having me on. Um, season two, part one, December 2nd, worldwide on Netflix. <laughs> your Instagram account, I think, is just your name, right? Rowan Curtis? Yep. Just Rowan Curtis. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Absolutely. Pretty well, straight up. This yeah. has been Pop Turtle, youtube.com slash Pop Turtle. For previous episodes, you're going to be able to catch. Roman Curtis as young Kate, who has really awesome glasses in season <laughs> two of Firefly Lane Part One, dropping December 2nd on Netflix. Until next time, it's Rowan and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.